Hey Blue Table fans, today we're going to be taking a look at a Tau project. It is in this dark brick red with uh, charcoal gray as a primary accent color and this uh, an ivory which in Vallejo, which is the paint line that we use, is a uh, is a pale sand. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, get in a little tighter here. I'm going to show you some Forge World battle suits as well as a Riptide. So uh, this is Commander Oshova, and quite frankly, um, you know what, I'm just going to tilt him just a little bit like that. And uh, frankly, this will make a great just uh, battle suit commander. Uh, the client here asked for specialty bases, which are like this Zen Garden thing. Um, yep, a little too tight on that one. So it's got this um, this sand, which is directly applied and not painted, and that is just uh, from a regular uh, like hobby store, they sell these uh, this kind of desert sand stuff. So uh, here are the fire warriors. I'm a huge fan of the helmet being a completely different color. You've got a really good light dark contrast on here. However, there really isn't very much of a warm cold contrast. The entire model is extremely warm with this uh, brick red uh, highlighted up with a with a true red. The base is also extremely warm with this with this uh, sort of uh, very uh, yellowish sand color. You have even the green of the bushes is also warm. So when you have a cold color that comes out on that, like for example, uh, this guy's head and uh, the nozzles of their pulse rifles, it really tends to stand out. And really you can get away, you can get away with doing a very uh, warm color scheme as long as you have a, uh, a cold accent on it like that. And never mind that um, this guy's helmet is, is white. All right, let's take a look at some, uh, some Forge World uh, crisis suits. Next up, we have some XV-9 Hazard Close Support Armor. These were put out by Forge World, I don't know, at least, at least a year ago and they're much, much bulkier than a regular battle suit. In fact, what you see here, this is on a 60 millimeter base. And again, this is done up in the Zen Garden style as the other ones. Same color scheme, which I've talked about already. And uh, these this client asked for very um, uh, dynamic poses. And I'm about to show you three. In fact, let's, uh, let's take a look at the second one. Uh, now these are all matte coated, double matte coated, just like all BTP finished product is. And that means they, they will withstand handling extremely well. And in fact, um, I, I can't remember anyone complaining about chipping. Uh, so anyway, uh, they are, um, uh, they're, they're used, basically, they're, they're kind of like the A team of battle suits here. This one's flying backwards kind of uh, the Matrix style, uh, which I think is awesome. So these guys, in terms of cost, they uh, weigh in at 30 British pounds, which is about $50 uh, US. And so the cost is about uh, just over two times a regular battle suit. But uh, there's a lot of bulk, a lot of posability, and there are three different types of weapons that you can have on their arms. Uh, but when you buy them, it, it comes only with the kind that it is. And these are uh, two twin-linked burst cannons. Uh, and these guys have uh, vectored retro thrusters. And uh, they can also have shield generators, target locks, drone controller, or black sun, black sun filters. Uh, they can also rally even if they are below the required percentage. So um, that's called... Uh, survivors to the last. Uh, they're, they're combat veterans and can always attempt to regroup regardless of casualties. So, um, oh, and the other thing is, let's go ahead and get this third guy up here. The other thing that's cool about these is that they are a fast attack choice. So this allows you to get in yet more battle suits into your army, uh, which, is, which is always a lot of fun. And so, and, by, and these guys are strength five, toughness five. <coughs> And um, they weigh in right around 60 points. And uh, yeah, they're, they're just absolutely armed to the teeth. Okay, let's take a look at the, at the Riptide. This model just makes me happy 
inside. Let's give them a 360. This is a Riptide. It's on a uh, what I call a Valkyrie style base, which is, I do believe it's six inches by four inches. Not entirely sure on that. I think it might be five inches wide. Again, the Zen Garden thing. This has a great narrative piece that the foot is like stomping down and crushing these, crushing these boards. So uh, now you'll notice there's a little bit of this lime green on here, done up a little bit glowy. You'll see it up here on the uh, upper portions. And I think that makes a nice contrasting point on this model. Because uh, if, you, if you squint and you look at all the warm areas on this, even the black is warm, this charcoal. And I'm a huge fan of charcoal as an accent color because black or charcoal gray can make an area kind of disappear so, or make it so the model's not so busy. Now this has magnetization, which is lovely on these figures. Um, there are three options up top here. The fusions, the um, plasmas, and uh, missile launcher as well. And they, they turn, which is a, I don't know, G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip type feature, which I really like. And then of course these lower ones, uh, they will switch out uh, between the two different options there. And so this is a, a fantastic model. Uh, the only thing that I think is um, like, uh, I guess a point of curiosity is the use of this brick red and, uh, and this gold color. The, uh, the, the gold, um, I'm not entirely a fan. Uh, but it, it's not bad, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, but you could have, what other color could you have put there? I'd sure love to hear everyone's opinion. Um, if you look at the color scheme of the model, you could have made, because when you do something an accent color, like a different color, that is one way of making it stand out. So you have to pick and choose in your painting models. What is it that you want to stand out? What is it that you want to be important or, or look cool? And so that is uh, definitely, Definitely uh, a choice on this figure of what to, what to focus in on. All right, well, that is some Tau. Tau in brick red and ivory uh, with charcoal and silver and uh, gold as, and white as accent colors. And I think it all comes together really nicely. So thank you very much for tuning in. And definitely uh, contact Blue Table Painting about your dream project. And that's how it starts. Don't worry about how to do it. Just find out what it is that you'd like to do. And you can find a, uh, the email address in the liner notes of this video.